What's up guys, it's Living Survival and today we got the Silky Gomboy, so stick with me. So the Gomboy comes in this pretty cool carrying case, uh, just a plastic carrying case, not really that heavy duty. I probably will just make a, you know, a sheath for it or something like that to uh, carry it, but you could carry it in this case. It does have a loop up top for, you know, hooking a lanyard through or something like that. So the Gomboy is real similar to the Laplander. You basically just uh, unfold it and it locks into place. This is the Gomboy. 240 you can get uh, different uh, basically different teeth on the uh, on the different saws from silky but uh, in my opinion these are one of the best saws that you can that you can have and we're going to do some cutting tests here in a minute it does have a nice rubberized grippy handle which is nice it does have a lanyard hole that you could throw some paracord through so uh, you know I'll probably make a nice sheath for this and uh, definitely make it a part of my my pack Size wise here you can see how it compares to a Laplander. It is just a tad bit longer. It's about the same width. All right, so let's get to cutting. We have a uh, downed tree here. So uh, it's probably about maybe three inches in diameter. So let's go ahead and uh, give it a try. You can see it just eats through that wood, no problem at all. Let's try something else. Here's a little bit thicker log, a little further down. That, my friends, is fast. All right, guys, so you can see that this has no problem cutting wood of that diameter. And really, when you're making a fire or making a shelter or anything like that, you're definitely not going to really need anything too much thicker than that. So uh, definitely a win in my book as far as being able to cut large diameter wood and very quickly. So let's find something a little bit greener. I don't want to cut down any uh, any living trees, but maybe I can find some deadfall that's a little bit greener. All right, guys. So I got this log, which is uh, definitely a lot greener. No problem going through that either. It just saw it so incredibly fast. So let's try something a little bit thicker. So it has no problem with uh, green wood and that's all still wet. So real wet green wood there, no problem. All right guys, well the Laplander did a pretty good job, pretty comparable. I definitely had to work a little bit harder with this one and uh, definitely more strokes because it doesn't have as long a blade. But you can, say, you can see pretty comparable sizes here. This one was the Gomboy and this one was the Laplander. Alright guys, so as you can see, another great alternative to the Laplander. Nothing wrong with the Laplander at all. Uh, this one just has a little bit more cutting surface, a little more cutting length, and does seem to be a little bit quicker uh, at sawing larger wood. And you can definitely saw a little bit larger wood with this saw. One thing I noticed is that it doesn't lock when you close it. Uh, like the Laplander does, it does, the Laplander does lock and you have to release the button to be able to open it. I mean, this thing's definitely not going to open up on you or anything like that so I'm not sure how much that matters that it uh, locks shut I mean it does snugly uh, go in there and if you had it in like a sheath or something like I plan to do it's definitely not going to come open on you so definitely check out the Gomboy line uh, this is the 240 millimeter 
and uh, they definitely have a couple different options as far as folding saws go. So please give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you leave me some comments below. And as always, guys, subscribe for more videos.